Hello everyone, thank you for joining us today in this AMA between AXP and Fusion. Uh, we've had a chance to look over all your thoughtful questions, I'm very excited to go through them. We've gathered some of the best. I'm joined to my left here by Max, the CEO of AXP. Of course, I'm John from Fusion. So, Max, you know, we've had a lot of inquiries around, you know, AXP and where it comes from, but looking at the first question here, is, what is AXP actually trying to solve? That's a great question, John. AXP was was born out of the genesis of my, my original company, Dasha. Yeah, yeah. Dasha, over the last three years, uh, enabled me to experience a, an industry of selling vehicles through independent dealers, mm -hmm. through consumers, and in that process, what my team and I encountered was how poorly the data was in the space. So through that genesis, we, we were inspired to create a trusted ecosystem in the auto industry that we could basically improve the whole space, make it a better efficient market for all the consumers and the independent dealers and all the other participants within the ecosystem. Uh, we reached out to multiple different players. They all agreed. And believe it or not, government agencies have reached out to me. Yeah. DMVs and state, state, state agencies have reached out to me. The marketplace needs to be, become more transparent. And that's, again, that's, the, that's where AXP comes into play. Yeah, that's a yeah. common theme that we're hearing in blockchain like applications. It's all this interconnected world and people talk about connected, but now you have all these different agencies, organizations, bad data, I mean, that's, that's very exciting that you're actually looking at blockchain for that solution, and especially for Fusion as well. You know, we're happy to partner with you. Cool. The next question we have, what happened to the ICO? I know at one time you were considering an ICO for AXP. Yeah, that, that's a great question too. I think, it, it's a, it, let me keep it very simple, straight and, straight and forward. Uh, after our introduction to Fusion um, and through multiple investors that we, we share, um, it became quite clear that our token just wasn't needed now that we had Fusion as a business partner. Okay. It, it, was, it was something that we did not need to go down that path. Yeah. Yeah, it makes sense because, I mean, why have two tokens when you've already got one, the Fusion token that can take care don't, of all you don't, that? You don't yeah. need it. Duplication, right, John? Exactly. Duplication. Cool. That was an easy answer. Next question. What is the timeline for digitizing AXP's database of automobiles and users? Well, that's easy because I answered that a little earlier. I mean, the timeline is still by the end of the year, we want to digitize all the vehicle information that you actually have in your system. I think that was a couple million. I can't remember the exact number. And uh, 300,000 users, I believe, was the number. That's there. correct. Yeah, yeah, we're in the right ballpark. Yeah. All right, the third question. What is the time frame for digitizing AXP's database of automobiles and users? Well, that one's an easy answer. We are still on track for, by the end of the year, to digitize all the information that's sitting in AXP's database. The second part, what steps are needed to be taken before you can get to this stage? Good. I mean, you've heard me mention the POC a few times, and it really breaks down to three main pieces here. We want to create the assets of the vehicle, number one, the assets of the person, number two, and the most complicated part, of course, is actually the loan that stitches together these things. That's but I think that's where the fusion really, the fusion protocol really shines, you know, through like the quantum swaps, the time locks. We'll have a follow-up session where I go into more detail about how we're actually modeling these automatic loans. But from a, from a timing standpoint, the POC, we want to get the first model loan done maybe in the next month or two, right? That's and correct. I know in Q2 or end of Q2, you want to start actually originating these loans, right? Absolutely, John. So the, team, like the team's excited, the partners are excited. Yeah. And again, I think in future dates too, we can start pulling in some of those partners from some Q&A sessions. I think they'll be excited. Yeah. I think everybody's excited about, about the project and, and the direction we're moving. So it'll be fun to keep the community and everybody out there uh, abreast of what we're doing and how we're moving forward. Yeah, All my right. next question. How many blockchain devs work at AXP? And let's just start. How many blockchain devs work? You know, right now, AXP's engaged with multiple dev teams, John. Mm -hmm. um, one, we have one lead blockchain architect that is working directly with yeah. the Fusion guys, but I have crossed cross-collateralized uh, multiple dev teams from all over the world that I can access at any time. Um, I believe that we're going to use, uh, obviously, the Fusion team, uh, a great deal of the heavy lifting. Um, I've already been super impressed with what I've seen and just working with you guys already on a monthly, month-in, month-out basis. Um, I have complete confidence that Fusion is going to 
be able to deliver what they say they're going to deliver. And whatever my dev guys need to do, more probably in the old fashioned UI UX okay. in, in that arena, we'll be able to do, John. So uh, yeah, we're, they're, 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 they're willing to activate, but we have, we have our hands full with uh, some of the old fashioned UI UX stuff that we're working with our other partners. Yeah, I know, for example, you have actual dev engaged on the loan origination side. Yes, There's sir. a whole streamlining yes, thing that you're already doing yep. before you even send the data to us on the blockchain. So I'm very excited that you've chosen Fusion again to work on the blockchain side. And that's part of what this, you know, this partnership is really about, right? We are investing in AXP because we believe in your vision, and you are investing in us because you believe in the technology that we have. So it's working out quite well. All right, next question. Um, are they already building on top of the Fusion protocol with current PSN 1.0 release? I'll, I'll take care of that one. So the PSN 1.0 release is what's out in the station at today. You have, are probably talking about PSN 2.0 as the next improvement. Of course, there are some uh, improvements that we're having on the consensus side, and, but that's not actually affecting anything on the functionality side, which is why I'm so excited to do this. We are already building on the functionalities of quantum swaps and time locks that we can actually build without any concerns about whether it's stage net or main net. All right, let's take a look at the next question. How often will FSN token be used to create a records of card? A daily weekly estimate would be nice to understand the scale of this partnership. Max, I think you're best to answer that. That's a great question, John. You know, I think because we're going to be primarily focused on the financing piece of the, of the, of the transaction in the very beginning, we're going to be picking up transactions on a daily basis. Uh, the activity will be driven by the capital markets and the investors in the beginning. We've targeted $100 million in a conservative approach of loans that we should be, be hitting the, by year in for that number. I obviously uh, have greater aspirations, but we all want to be conservative in this nature. And we want to make sure we fulfill what we say we're going to do for the community, for the investors at large, for everybody that has participated in this project. Um, so we're really excited. But we're going, to, I, we're going to be seeing daily transactions, and they're going to be very, very important for everybody that's interested in what we're doing as far as the accuracy of this data and real-time information. I can't tell you how important I think this question is because the, the, the marketplace is, is starving for this kind of information. And I think the AXP Fusion relationship and what we're aspiring to do and getting ready to launch is, is going to be just going to be so received in such a massively well way with all the partners that I have and beyond. So I, this is this is a really great question. It's really exciting. Yeah, I mean, a hundred million dollars alone, I'll be happy to see that already yeah, <laughs> onto the platform. Well, I will be too, Big yeah. John. You know the partners that we're talking to, and these Absolutely. guys have massive appetite and massive origination. So, and, and, and part of this is to follow on. You know, you're focused very much on finance, and I, sometimes I just want to bring into picture like the huge project you're actually trying to do. You know, we're starting with finance, but if, when I went to the AXP website, what I really was attracted was that you're actually building a trusted data ecosystem across not just finance, but you know, you're going to go into insurance, you got governments lined up on the other side. So as we execute on the finance side, more like transactions are going to come through as you plug in the other arms. But, you know, we don't want to be overzealous, but I do think uh, the number of transactions that go through on the fusion tokens are going to be pretty high. I, I, John, I couldn't concur more. I believe, obviously, you know, my whole my whole vision of this project and, and, and talking to you more and more month in month out is, you know, that financing piece. It, it, it's the starting block. It's yeah. the starting block. It's the engine block. However, as you as you do as you do a financing transaction, we all not know the amount of data that is there. Who wants that data? Everybody along the food chain. So it's the investors, it's the mm. capital markets, it's the insurance carriers, it's yeah. the government agencies, and, and there's a natural, organic feel to the movement. And that the way those transactions come in, and the better we capture that data, and the better that AXP Fusion manages that data. And, and is transparent about how we show that to the marketplace, the marketplace is, is, is going to come running to us. Yeah, marketplace they're, coming to you. Yeah, they're coming to us. Yeah. We're, you know, we're just going to, it's going to be, a, it's going to be how much business can we take on yeah. in, in an efficient way to make sure that we manage expectations in the right way. Good, good. So let's start being uh, conservative with 100 million. <laughs> <laughs> 100 million yeah. is conservative. Yes, it is. All right. The next question. The article mentions that AXP CEO chose Fusion. I think this is the CoinDesk article, by the way. The chose Fusion because of the innovative financing option it brings to the table. Can you elaborate on how you will be using Fusion from a financing perspective? 
So you kind of touched on this before, but it makes sense to summarize a little bit. Yeah, I think you're right, John. I think, again, another great question, and, and just to expand a little bit more. Um, to simplify uh, for, 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 for myself and for the audience, is Fusion will be the bridge. It's very straightforward. They'll be the bridge for passing the loan data from the borrower to the investors. We, we the, team, the team at AXP, we need Fusion to cut out the inaccuracies in the system that currently exists. Yeah. I mean, that's why this all started. The inaccuracies are the problem. Yeah. We want to cut the inaccuracies out and connect the new channels to the investors to the digitized asset. I want to be very clear about this. This is, this is to me, the, the, we should be screaming this from the mouth and top. And like I said to you, I've said to you a couple times before, John, I don't want to be like biblical here, but I feel like this is like Moses when he found the Ten Commandments. I mean, John and I um, are old school finance guys, and we see the challenges that are in this space right now. And we are so pumped that this marketplace needs, needs this to fix some of the inaccuracies and make it a better place for investors to be able to go and be able to accurately get an investment and see real-time data in a space that hasn't been able to provide it here in the year 2019. And I think, I think we're the guys who are going to start fixing that problem. And I'm really excited about it, John. And I think that's why the XP Future Project it, you know, gets me up every morning ready, ready to rock and roll take on the world. So, you know, again, I don't want to be too biblical, but I, I think that's an exciting thing. And I'm really, you know, this is, this question really fires me up. Yeah, I mean, I, I get energized talking to you. I mean, you're one of many verticals that we have, but the story you tell is what we're hearing across a lot of our partners as well, that inaccuracy of the data, the kind of medium where a lot of, I don't know, investment opportunities are being lost right now because people can't find the investment. So we're very help, happy to help you solve that problem in the auto space. But let me expand on the technology side a little bit. Now Fusion was started with this interoperable marketplace in mind, right? So this internet of value, which you may have heard about. But really, when I think about financial, any type of transaction for that matter, it boils down to four things. The person who's buying something, what that person's receiving, what time frame is actually executing that transaction on, and what time frame that transaction is valid for. So if I break every transaction down, we can actually be industry agnostic. And with that mindset, we created three very core functions of the Fusion Protocol. The three are the quantum swap, easy way to um, swap, exchange, uh, swap exchange assets, the time lock, which is a very important way where we can separate kind of rights and ownership over what time period that can happen. And finally, the asset creation, which just lets you really uh, just easily digitize assets. Right? So that's kind of like the innovative options that Fusion brings to the table. And I think that's what really got the discussion going when I started modeling out these loans. And you're like, that's exactly it. That's what we need. A hundred percent, John. And the partnerships too. I think, yeah. you know, not just between the capital markets guys that we know um, and the, the institutional guys, but it, always, it, it drills down all the way to the independent dealers even. I mean, they get it. They just, they don't know how to take the data like what we're going to do. Yeah. And that's why they're so excited about the AXP Fusion project. So I think you hit it on the head. Right. It's taking that, you know, that, that, that technology and simplifying it for you guys. All right, let's take the next question. I would like to know what financial products will be created around used car sales. Will they develop more complicated loan finance products? Okay, this, this question is kind yeah, of long, yeah, so let's take a yeah, pause. True. Let's take a pause right there. Let's go with the first part, which is, you know, what kind of financial products you're looking to create, Max? Um, we're starting with straightforward fixed coupon products. Yeah. Uh, the, the support will be through the prepayment and late fees um, on the majority of these cases. And we're going to keep it very simple in the beginning. Obviously, as the business builds and the type of loans that we are able to make accessible to the marketplace, um, we will make determinations based upon the capital market's demands and the supply that we're able to supply to those demands. Yeah, and in product speed, that's like the 80-20 use case. We're tackling 80% of the use case already with fixed coupon loans that support prepayment and late fees. And while that is like a very basic thing in the auto space, that's actually an industry first in the blockchain. The ability to support prepayments, the ability to handle kind of these late fees, because a lot of the blockchain bonds uh, are actually just pointers to assets or pointers to the bond that exists off chain. Right. What Fusion is actually trying to do is trying to mirror the entire transaction with the cash coming in, the prepayments, how that affects the payment structure 
on chain as quantum swaps and time locks. So I'll be very excited to talk more about that in a subsequent session. What parts of Fusion will this partnership really show off and show everyone what Fusion can do? DCRM, time lock, quantum swap, or all of the above? That's funny. I actually jumped into this question a little earlier. The answer is all of the above, but really, as you can tell, I'm focused really just on the time lock and the quantum swap and asset creation. The interoperability just comes as, comes as a given. What is the roadmap for partnerships? By that I mean, will some features be ready day one? and others released in stages as the partnership matures. So let me break that question down in two parts, because when I, when I see that question, I see there's partnership between you and me, right? AXP and Fusion, of course. And there's some partnerships that you're actually building across the auto industry. So let me start with the easier one, which is just AXP and Fusion. It's, as any product, there's going to be a roadmap stage releases. As these features become available, we're going to be testing them out. It's, this isn't like the old waterfall days where we're sitting on something for six months and then you know, we release it to the industry, right? So we'll, we're happy to keep you updated as this POC development goes underway. Now, the actual expansion of the different types of industries that we're looking to tackle, same mindset, if we nail bullet loans out of the park, right, with our revolving credit instruments, we can easily move into all those other verticals. So I have no doubt Absolutely. about that. And let me move to the second part, which was you're, you actually have a lot of partnership discussions as well, right, across the... That, the that's correct, right. John. Yeah. yeah, I mean, John, to start out, I mean, I, you know, the, the amount of interest already, just with the, with the amount of investors and advisors that I currently have it, that are in the auto space, um, there's, been a, there's been a big demand already, uh, just even within the trade organizations. You know, the trade organizations within the auto space really break out on almost three types of organizations. Mm. It really is the financial organizations and trade publications. Uh, you then have the dealer-driven organizations, and then you end it with media. All three of those are just, are just dying to hear more from ASP and Fusion about our project and the momentum that we start to build. Um, you know, we've already been requested to come to some conferences, John, and I guess, you know, you and I are just trying to figure out the time that we have allotted while we're trying to build out this project. Yeah. So, you know, you and I, you know, we have our, we have, we have our arms full, but, but I think it's exciting. And, and the demands that are coming are coming from really, really strong potential partnerships. So, um, we're, we're exploring those organizations. Um, we can't attack all of them, but we're going to do our best to figure out who's the best ones to go with. Um, that can that can help us move our message along and be be, be ambassadors for us to the space. Yeah. Again, we want to, you know, we really, we, you know, we're, we set out this project, and especially when I started in the auto space myself, to, to really to, to make a difference and, and, and to make an environment that's a better environment. For, like I said in the earlier question, for, for for everybody along the food chain, for the independent dealers, for the consumers, for the insurance carriers, for the government agencies. Um, and, and as we started out on that process, you know, they started coming to us, you know, it was, it was an amazing, I never had that experience before. So I think through those trade organizations, um, we'll start there. I think you and I, we got a lot, we got a lot we of got traveling a lot to, to do, yeah. we got a lot of traveling to do, I think a lot of, of the, this type of informal conversation to, to continue to educate the community, and, and we will do it. Um, and then, and then on a much larger scale, you know, you, you have some of the big, big players that you know have already reached out to us, John. And I think we have to we have to figure out, um, you know, you know what where we can allot our time and, and best fulfill uh, the needs of the project while still fulfilling the needs of some of the people that want to know how the project's going. So. Spoken like a true CEO, right? Thank you. It's a tough thing, but it's exciting, John. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. So. yeah, I, I, I can relate to that challenge. Yeah. All right. Um, how does the FSN economy work in this partnership? Okay, I, I think what they're asking in here is, you know, what type of uh, transactions are coming through or, or how we partner on, on the commercial side. But the AXP product is going to be built directly on the Fusion protocol, so of course you're going to be using Fusion tokens as part of the transaction. Uh, the industry speak with the gas, right? But these are just fees that we charge for someone to validate the records to basically make sure your record is safe, stored on their separate nodes. That's how the fusion token is going to be used in our in our partnership here. All right. The next question: Can you elaborate more on AXP's existing customer user base? All right, Max. That's 
You know, I, that's something I think that I, I've mentioned in earlier questions, but again, I, I, we, we have an existing customer base and, and almost re registered users that have come in and out of our space uh, to a neighborhood of somewhere over 300,000. Those are the consumers, direct consumers that have an interest in this space um, and in what we're doing. Um, outside the scope of that, we also have massive reach within the independent dealer world. Um, and again, through some of our partnerships, which again, we are going to be bringing these partnerships um, and engaging them in these kind of conversations in the very near future to get everybody excited about who they are, what their reach is, to solidify what that really is. Um, on the independent dealer level, I mean, there's we have a reach probably in, probably right away at 25,000, wow. north of 25,000 yep. independent dealers, and I think we can, we can help in a lot of ways, you know. It's not just that financing. That financing is to activate them and hopefully give them more liquidity and clear and concise data that they know how their loans are performing. So it, it benefits everybody along that process. Yeah. But uh, I think it also benefits everybody else from the from, from the, insur the auto insurance guys would love to see that data. The manufacturers, yeah. the you know, it, 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 we keep listen. You and I just keep getting these phone calls and these yeah. emails about we can't wait to see this data, and we have to determine on how we're going to use that data and who's going to be uh, seeing that data. Um, these are all the questions. The whole, the, you know, this is where the industry is. We're in a new frontier, yeah. um, and again, it's exciting. Uh, but but we have a we have a massive reach. Uh, yeah. we, we you know I have some great relationships and uh, my I'm very fortunate to have some great advisors that are looking forward to activating us in any way possible to continue to further that reach. Yeah, that that just can't be recreated in one day. I mean, you've had years of experience in the auto space. That's very exciting to partner again with someone like like AXP. All right, let's take a look at the next question. What will be the turnover between the two companies? What is the commercial arrangement? I, I kind of answered this a little earlier, but it is, you know, F Fusion is going to be the protocol that you build on, so of course we're going to charge the transaction on the, uh, as a gas. All right, and oh, that's the last question that we have. Well, thanks again, Max, for joining us. You know, this was great talking to you and just kind of getting everybody to understand your background. You know, you and I have spoken a lot, but you know, community's been very eager to kind of hear from you as well. And community members, thank you again for your questions. It's always great to kind of have your concerns and uh, thoughts addressed, right? Keep them coming. We're very excited to show more. Well, thank you, John. Yeah. Thank you very much. And it's, it's a pleasure to meet everybody in the community for the first time. I look forward to further communications and updates on the project as we move along. Thank you very much.